What's going on guys? Stock Scrubby here. The market was closed today in honor of Martin Luther King Day, so I've just got some news that's probably going to be important this week coming up. Especially Walmart is officially filing to create a cryptocurrency-esque product and join the metaverse, so we got to talk about that, so uh, let's go. Oh, and it's not financial advice, it's entertainment, by the way. All right, so obviously we've got to talk about Walmart hopping into the cryptocurrency game because uh, that's pretty big. Walmart files plans to create cryptocurrency and NFTs. The trademark filing shows it wants to make and sell virtual goods such as electronics, decor, toys, sporting goods, and personal care products. All right, so basically they want to hop into like the NFT marketplace and have a, uh, a digital store inside the metaverse, which a lot of stores have already been doing. This isn't necessarily surprising. That being said, you know, a company of this magnitude getting involved in the metaverse does give it at least a little bit more legitimacy, you know? I'm not a financial expert or anything, but from my perspective, the more that companies the size of Walmart start to be like, we have a metaverse store, the more the prospect of that eventually becoming a reality is realistic. If you ain't got the company's worth, you know, a, a metric crap ton on board, it's hard to really get the infrastructure rolling, but if they're hopping on board with the crypto metaverse vibe, it could speed things up up a little bit. The applications, which were first reported to CNBC, represent a significant step for the retail giant as it studies how to participate in the metaverse, a virtual world that blends aspects of digital technologies. Walmart advertised a position in August to develop crypto or currency strategy and product roadmap while identifying crypto-related investments and partnerships, according to a job posting on the company's website. The applications were among a flurry the company filed on December 30th, including three under Walmart Connect, the name of the company's existing digital advertising venture, for a financial exchange, for virtual currency and advertising. Applications were also fired for Verse to Store, Verse to Curb, and Verse to Home for shopping services. It's also seeking trademarks to apply the Walmart name and fireworks logo to healthcare services and education in virtual and augmented reality. Walmart is continuously exploring how a emerging technologies may shape future for shopping experience and the company responded in an email statement we don't have anything further to share today but it's worth noting we routinely routinely file trademark applications as part of the innovation process all right i think uh walmart's really out here outlining their plans to become like the by and large of the united states you know you know the company in wally that just sold everything like you already basically could buy everything at walmart but if they're filing metaverse applications currency applications and on top of that you know they're gonna start making sure that like they can be your healthcare provider too. It's only a matter of time till literally everything's through Walmart. You know, obviously that's a joke. That being said, I do think it'll be interesting to see how companies developing their own currency is received. I don't know. I feel like we've already kind of seen how this goes down. It's not the same thing. Computers weren't around all that stuff, but back in the day, companies used to try to do like company towns where you had to use company money. And uh, they didn't tend to end too well. I know this is obviously a little bit different because you're not forcing anyone to use your currency. If you don't want to shop at Walmart, you don't have to. But uh, I don't know. It'll be interesting to see how people feel about exchanging their real money for like virtual currency from a store. It's basically the equivalent of like buying a gift card, but just all the time. You know, pretty similar concept. You're going to take your real dollars and buy the dollars that work at their store. Unless, you know, unless I'm misunderstanding, I'm assuming that it would be something along those lines. Obviously, I'm not a financial expert or anything. I'm just an idiot spitballing over Fortnite gameplay, but that's my thoughts. The next story I wanted to talk about is uh, definitely equally insane to Walmart entering crypto. In fact, I would rank it more insane, all right? It's just not as juicy of a title. Major U.S. airline CEOs warn 5G could ground some planes and wreak havoc. All right, so I guess like a bunch of 5G networks are going to be coming on, like the the nationwide ones, you know. I guess from what I understood from the articles I've read, it's been in limited areas. It hasn't been overall. And they're saying that if they turn it on, it really could mess with like a bunch of planes and leave tens of thousands of people stranded because like half the planes in the sky wouldn't be able to work anymore. And they wouldn't take off, you know, don't get it twist it they're not going to be dropping out of the sky but if half the planes could no longer operate yeah that puts a damper on getting people places 
Major U.S. airline CEOs warn of an impending catastrophic aviation crisis on Wednesday when AT&T and Verizon are set to deploy new 5G service. The airline said the new service would make a significant number of wide-body aircraft unusable and could potentially strand tens of thousands of Americans overseas. The FAA has warned that potential interference could affect sensitive airplane instruments, such as altimeters and impact on low visibility operations. All right, so definitely not too great, you know. I'm just flabbergasted that we've gotten here without these two like things communicating and coming to a conclusion before i don't know i just expected that like you know at some point the government would get involved and make sure that at&t and verizon weren't turning this on if it was going to strand a bunch of people overseas and at the same time kind of nuts that verizon and at&t are like yeah whatever we got to get that 5g rolling baby obviously i don't know all the details so i'm just speculating you know like i don't really know the total facts of the situation i'm reading the article I just kind of uh, outlined to y'all. That being said, it's just kind of weird that we can have stuff that could affect like half the planes in America and it's being controlled by like companies communicating and instead of uh, someone a little bit more in charge. And as for how many planes would be grounded, I found another article that kind of outlined just how insane this problem potentially could be. The US FAA, which is the Federal Aviation Administration, I believe, cleared 45% of commercial planes fleet after 5g deployed which you know if you're pretty good at doing some quick math means that 55 percent of the commercial fleet is not subject to fly if this stuff goes online which is over half of the planes that's an insane amount of planes that wouldn't be able to fly if 5g kicked off you know we're not talking about 10 percent here we're talking about literally more than half obviously i feel like uh, at this point if the faa is getting involved it's in the government's hands and hopefully they'll figure it out quickly you know I don't have the most faith in, in any government to get anything done quickly, but that being said, you know, if it's going to end up grounding over half the planes in America, chances are they're going to get a way to get it done quickly. But I just thought this was nuts, you know, when 5G comes on, we really got to be thankful for it because it's causing a mess around here. Staying on topic a little bit from the start of the video, uh, apparently there's a big trend of a bunch of people that have made it big off crypto moving to Puerto Rico in order to dodge some higher taxes. Well, not dodge, you know, moving to Puerto Rico is legal. Bitcoin millionaires are moving to Puerto Rico for lower taxes and island living. Obviously, anytime you have somebody come into a bunch of wealth very quickly and it's not in cash or like assets that people consider, you know, stable holds of value. Not that Bitcoin's bad, but we all just know it's very volatile. It makes sense that people are going to move to an area with low taxes because like, you know, if you're worth 20 million and all of it is in Bitcoin, it's not a bad idea to maybe sell 5 million, buy some real estate, some stocks, diversify a little bit. So if you are going to sell off, you're going to move to a place place that has the lowest taxes possible that's what makes the most sense the one thing that does suck about this is i feel like all these bitcoin millionaires moving to an island and just kind of being able to pay whatever they want for anything you know not being too worried about the price does have an impact on the local economy just because you know a sudden influx of a bunch of people buying the top amount of real estate for whatever people are asking for tends to have an impact on the rest of the housing market as well all of a sudden prices are up a crap ton in a year the people that have lived there forever are having having trouble affording things. I don't know. I just felt like it was an interesting thing to talk about just because uh, it, it's been a while since I think there's been this level of wealth creation so quickly. You know, we're talking about people that if they put $300 in Bitcoin the right time, like, you know, t t 10 years ago, they could potentially be moving to Puerto Rico with millions now. That's a crazy amount of wealth created in a very short span of time. The only other interesting thing that I wanted to talk about that'll probably cause some movement tomorrow, Ford's been on an absolute tear and uh, they announced a partnership with Stripe that seems relatively interesting. You know, I'm, I'm not too familiar with all the details, but it at least seems like a step in the direction towards something a little close to what Tesla does online. Ford signs five-year payments deal with Stripe for e-commerce drive. You know, it's nuts to me that e-commerce is coming to auto, but the reality is I think you order Teslas online, even at the dealership, they tell you to like pull out your phone and order it from what my friends have told me. You know, that's not anything I know for a certain fact. That's just what I've heard. So obviously it makes sense. Ford, which has been going bonkers and releasing a ton of electric vehicles, would be trying to find somebody that's able to help them make that e-commerce push. It's not something that Ford is necessarily going to be great at setting up themselves. Let's be honest here. They're a little bit 
of a dinosaur. They've literally been around for like 100 years. So I think them partnering with somebody that's great at processing payments and knows kind of how to set up an e-commerce drive is a, a smart idea for them. You know, I'm not an expert or anything, but it just seems like when you know Tesla's killing it because they've been so future focused, partnering with a future focused company can't be incredibly negative, I would assume. Maybe it won't work out. Everybody will get spit on their face. Who knows? But I just thought it was interesting, especially because the stock's been on a tear recently. So this news will probably cause a movement one way or the other. But uh, yeah, on that note, guys, that's going to do it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, I would really appreciate you taking a second to press the like button. Let me know what you thought in the comment section down below. And of course, subscribe if you're new and turn on those notifications. If you really want to help me out, you can check out the intro song link down below along with the link to my podcast cast the scuffed cast or of course you could use code scrubby at the g fuel checkout great way to get a discount on g fuel help me out at the same time i'd really appreciate it but uh yeah other than that the last link in the description is going to be a link to the merch store be sure to go pick yourself up a t-shirt it's the coolest merch to ever exist not that i'm biased and uh on that note i think that'll do it don't get anyone pregnant if you do make sure they're hot and hopefully i will see you guys all tomorrow with another video and remember it's not financial advice. It's entertainment. I'm out. P -p 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 Peace.